Hello everybody, my name is Vera Chikese okay? I'm the sexologist for Wholesome Sexuality. Here we talk about sex as it affects your life, your health, your relationships, your relationship with yourself, your relationship with your spouse, and your relationship with God. Now let's talk about sex. Do you know that it takes an average of 27 minutes to get a woman in the orgasmic space? No, you didn't get that. 27 minutes average. That means it could be more, it could be less. But it takes an average of 27 minutes to get a woman into the orgasmic phase. That is the phase where she begins to feel or enjoy what is being done to her as regards sex. Now, why is that? We know that the man has a higher level of testosterone and the woman has estrogen. Now, what happens in the phase is the fact that it takes the woman longer time to get aroused. So, do they sometimes have quick ears? Yes. Do they sometimes have it quick and fast? Yes. But on the average, it takes 27 minutes. So when you are complaining that I'm doing everything and she's just not feeling it, and there's a reason. It has to do with her anatomy and her biology, right? It's not her fault that it takes longer. It's not your fault that it's taking longer. But there are a few things that you need to learn to do to help hasten this process. So I would like to talk to you about the factors affecting the latency of orgasm, right? Number one is emotional attachment and trust. If the woman is disconnected from you in any way or form, her mind will not be in what she's doing. So everything inside of her is saying no, no matter what you do. She can't trust you enough to give of herself to you. She's not emotionally attached or connected to you enough to give of herself to you. You see, that's one of the reasons why they say it's easier for a man to cheat than a woman to cheat. If a woman cheats, she has carefully thought about it. She has bonded, bonded with this person emotionally. She has had some level of trust in the person for her to be able to give of herself to the person. So for you to be able to maintain a good binding or a good bond with your spouse, make sure that you are the one she trusts and she's emotionally attached to. Another way is mental arousal. So um, I say twerk your brain for her, right? Um, what are the things you're doing that gets her mentally in the mood? What are the things you do that helps her think more about you in a good way? What are the things you can do that keeps you on the top shelf of the compartments in her brain? What are the things that you can do that brings you closer? Now, the reason I'm not listing things is the fact that every human being is different. So what might be exciting to Mrs. A might not be exciting to Mrs. B. So like I always say, know your spouse and know what works for your spouse. Another thing that affects the latency of orgasm is physical um, arousal and on the physical arousal we have foreplay now I've had this question over time how long should foreplay last um, when is when can you say that you've had sufficient foreplay um, when can you say the foreplay has gone overboard right so I would like to answer it now there is no limit to how much foreplay you can have. I have a video back that talks about foreplay. Now the reason why people get tired of foreplay is because they are doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. The body has gotten so used to that that it begins to create some sort of resistance to it. Right? Now foreplay is beyond what you do physically when it comes to the woman. Foreplay 
can just be her feeling secure, is her feeling safe around you, right? Foreplay is you helping with the dishes once in a while. Foreplay is you picking her up from the office and not letting her have to drive home. That's for those that have daddy's car, mommy's car. Foreplay could just be her getting an email from a, uh, from a masseuse saying that she has a voucher to redeem. Foreplay can be anything that puts you topmost on her mind. Now, can you see why there's no limit to how long foreplay should last? But let's go into the science of it. Now, when you are trying to engage or when you're engaging in foreplay with your spouse, this is what happens. When you're doing all the touching, the kissing, the squeezing, and every other thing that you do with your wife, signals are being sent to the brain that, oh, something good is about to happen. So you're beginning to send some neurological signals to the brain. And then the brain now sends signals to the body saying, okay, calm down, this is good. We should like this, we should enjoy this. And when those signals come down to the body, the vaginal response to this is lubrication. So how do you know that she's ready for you? She begins to flow. Ah, that word flow can put some people in trouble because they will expect that stuff is on and she just begins, no. She gets wet, right? She gets slimy, she gets wet. For some people, the fragrance that she emits is different at that point. It just says that she's ready for you, right? So that's the science of the foreplay. Now, when it is done well, when it is done well and you see all these signs and symptoms happening, that's a good time for penetration, right? Now, when this is done well, when this is done well, you are able to give and experience a good orgasmic, orgasmic phase with your spouse. You see, in everything I've listed now, these things don't take one minute. It doesn't take two minutes. It doesn't take three minutes. Science has shown that it takes an average of 27 minutes to get a woman into the orgasmic phase. And when she gets to the orgasmic phase, you really can't tell how long the orgasm is going to last. But please note that you can have a fulfilling and beautiful sexual experience without necessarily having an orgasm. So don't let anybody tell you that if there's no orgasm, it was not good. Don't let people, don't let the media, don't let things steal from you. In as much as it takes a, an average of 27 minutes for a woman to have a good orgasm or for the woman to get into the orgasmic phase, that doesn't say that it could not be less. It could be less, it could be more. But this information is just to let you know that Hey guy, you've got some work to do. And when it's done well, you will testify. See you in the next video.